Dr. Umar goes off and says rap has done nothing for the black community. Generations of black kids growing up thinking the best thing you can do is be a drug dealer or uh, a gangster. Hip hop in 50 years has made sure that black people now are respected and no, that's never going to happen. What has it done for the people? It gave you, you listen to hip hop music and you were inspired at some point, no? You nigga, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> We're Come moving, on, we're, we're, we're literally, games, we're moving goalposts. It ain't done shit in 50 years for the community. I, it I, made individuals rich and that's it. It then gave jobs right. to, it then gave jobs to. It gave a couple jobs to drug dealer, giving out a couple jobs too. But the drug dealer is, the drug the dealer is, the, the, the drug <laughs> dealer is essential to the black community in the ghetto. You can't tell me that if somebody grew up in the hood. Hip hop ain't done shit concretely beneficial that's, to the black that, community. That, that's, you that, gave that's me incorrect. fashion. The that's first incorrect. thing out of your mouth was I gave, fashion. I, I gave you fashion, and you started yelling over me. What else? But then also, then then there's uh, technological advancement. Podcasting, podcasting, for example. Look at all the black people that now have access to jobs and uh, ways to make money due to that. We're still talking about rap. We're still talking about cinema. We're still talking about these camera operators, these tech, these new people coming Let me up with new. Make it real way. concrete for you. I just made it concrete. Give, no, I'm, no, it wasn't. That was all bullshit. No, give what me you're a relevant, about to say. Give me a relevant institution that hip hop built in any community anywhere in America I just in told fifty you. fucking years. I just told you. No, you didn't. I told you. I just told you concrete people that would not have. Acted. I didn't say you're gonna individuals. Cut me off again. I said you're gonna an cut institution. Me off again. I said people. Where's the bank Are of people, hip hop for the black community? The definition of the word people means not an individual. So I'm telling you, people that are now that now of 50 years ago would not have had access to You're work dealing in, in these individualism. Places. I actually, what did they do for the community? You can't give me nothing because they ain't done the people for from the community. the community can now work in a music industry that there was never going to be a space for what them. What the in. fuck? That's individualism. That ain't helping us. That's bullshit. Right. No. Bull fucking shit. No. It's not helping us. No. Mm -hmm. What's happening is virtual signal. That's bullshit. what's happening. Virtual signal ain't happening. That's shit. A few people could get jobs. A Everybody few... can say that shit. Elon Musk got a couple black people on a payroll. That don't mean shit. Elon Musk didn't come from black. He's not a black My person. My point is you can get a job from anywhere, whether they but black now, or not. But now That's you're not getting a, unique a job. Benefit. Now black but people. But you're still right. talking about individualism, bro. A few people. You've been around right. for what school years. Is. The most popular music genre in the world. <laughs> billions and billions of dollars. And all you can tell me about is a few people can get jobs. That's bullshit. When you look at the mm -hmm. cost that the black community has had to pay for hip hop. A whole generation, two, three generations of black kids growing up thinking the best thing you can do is be a damn gangster. Um, bars. Bars. Dr. Umar Johnson spoke bars. You know, but what I don't do is I don't pander to nobody. I ain't finna pander to no niggas, no black women, no nothing. So you gotta be skeptical when a nigga say everything what you supposed to say. But bitch, we still ain't figure out where that school at. Oh, no. Uh-huh. You talking about ownership and jobs and you got a black school. I, I mean, you got a black school. <laughs> Hit an eight ball kilo because you know if you Dr. Umar, you got to say everything three times in a row because you got a black school. Where it's at? Motherfucker, you done took black people money, black job, black draws, black everything, and you still ain't married. You ain't with nobody. Because quiet is kept. They say you down with the squirrel too and get your back blown out. <laughs> Be in them hotel rooms on that goddamn papa with them white people and then scooping around with the black women just to say you did it but don't want to claim them. Y'all remember that BBW that was at Dr. Umar doing a speech engagement on February the 15th in Atlanta, Georgia that came out and said, where my love at? Because he had them played in there and swam in that big old Gucci all night on Valentine's Day. Y'all remember that? He don't want nothing. Now he got a problem with his niece marrying a white man. Now all of a sudden he friends with the white man. He didn't slept with him in that goddamn papa. Child. Black panderers. He talking about black power. The more you try to say that you black power, the more you going to be in back and say, yes, sir, master. I'm sick of Dr. Umar Johnson. He ain't nothing but a grifter. But in actuality, he said the right thing. Hip hop don't benefit nobody. Even the beef between Drake and Kendrick Lamar, it don't benefit nobody but them higher ups. Because any minute, while the artist is alive or gone, something can happen to where their wealth is taken from them. 
The only time in this day and age we seen somebody get their wealth back from a record deal is Taylor Swift, and that's a white lady. Oh, Lord. Ain't no need for you playing Shake It Off throwing the DNC, Taylor Swift. We don't care. We don't even care if Beyonce go up there, who, by the way, been bleaching her skin for the past year to pander to middle-aged white women. So even if Beyonce went to the DNC, if she go up there saying anything other than this ain't Texas, I don't care. I don't want to hear it, and I don't believe her. She don't have no relationship to the black people oh, nor the black vote okay absolutely not Mm-mm. but when it comes to music and black people look at what sony records did to michael jackson i swear to god this this they they waited till a political year to be distracted and flooded with so much political text nobody's answering for reparations nobody's answering for ownership and intellectual property and the rights and privilege and the inalienable right for black people to transfer generational wealth don't you know statistically speaking rappers like jay-z blue ivy and his kids are supposed to lose all of his wealth I can work so hard my whole life and become a multi-million. I can be Will Smith. And when I pass away, Jade, Jaden and, and Willow then, then squandered away everything or, or there's some type of transfer of wealth. Or be like Oprah Winfrey, who they say sacrificed her uterus for fame because she ain't got no kids. Where all that money going to go? Ozempi? Where all the money going to go? To the dogs? Stedman, she won't marry Stedman. They said it was a part of her 30-year contract and it's about over. Seeing her out there, we gon' vote, Carla. I'm like, girl, please. The only time we appreciated you for that landmark annoying ass voice is you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. Uh, fuck around and find out one no black people that in Chicago time. Oh. But you want to go to Chicago and talk all this shit and rattle this shit. That didn't move me and black women don't believe in you no more. Ain't you on that Diddy and Jeffy F. Ah! Oh, Lord. <laughs> but anyways, I think Dr. Umar Johnson had a point. Hip hop doesn't benefit anybody but a few people, a few rappers, a few celebrities who's destined to lose their wealth through their kids or like Oprah not having kids and it's transferred back into the white system. Um, that's what it is. The only hope for wealth when it comes to mono blackness uh, is Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry has a mono black son that I, I feel like he's raising to be extremely smart and that he, if anything happens to Tyler Perry, he would incorporate the studio, the wealth and everything and do the right thing. Unlike his father. Okay, that's what I believe when it comes to black wealth. Even Byron Allen has biracial kids. He ain't child by. You know, there's multiple ways of stifling wealth out of the black community, which includes, but it's not limited to divesting and swirling and doing shit like kings of queens and all of this other shit. So what he said is right. Okay. Even so, with the few artists that's alive that have actual wealth, the system, the powers that be at these record labels and stuff, they might actually just do them like how they did Michael Jackson. Oh, no. Michael Jackson, not only do we want the Beatles catalog, but Sony Records wants the 50% that he owned back as well as his catalog in exchange for cash, for $600, $600 million cash to the kids. That'll last them. But see, $600 million cash with no assets, that's just cash. How are you going to invest that? How are you going to flip that? In the real estate market, oh, well, you could lose that too because everybody want to invest in real estate, but real estate is the real piece of property that you would never truly own. Rather, it's land tax, uh, paying a deed, whatever. You would never truly own real property. So that can be taken from you in so many different ways unless you live in a state that has air property. Thank God I got family from Alabama. Shout out to all my country people in here. Shout out to y'all. Shout out. Okay? Because if push comes to shove, I can go to Alabama on about 10 different properties and say, get up off of this land. This is my grandmama land. And you can go to court and say whatever, but this air property, you got to go, sir. But I don't want to be up in the woods with Jonetta and Charles. Child. <laughs> Uh, please hit the like. Please hit the like. Thank you guys so much for being here.